Hello everyone, today we will be uh, discussing about the experiment that is calibration of micrometer using slip gauge. So the main aim of the experiment is calibration of micrometer using slip gauge set and plot the graph. This will be the main aim of the experiment that is whatever the given uh, micrometer you are supposed to calibrate using the slip gauge set. So here we are using a standard as a slip gauge to calibrate the micrometer. Uh, apparatus which are used for this particular uh, experiment is micrometer slip gate set and micrometer stand. So this is how it looks. This is the micrometer which is being used for calibrating. This is the stand so that the micrometer has been placed on the stand so that uh, you take an accurate reading. And as well as these are the micro, uh, sorry, these are the slip gate set which is being used to calibrate the micrometers. This is how the slip gauge looks like. It is a triangular form of a component. So coming to the calibration, it is uh, it is a pre-measurement uh, process which any manufacturer uh, will uh, uh, do before he start up with the main measurement of a instrument. Here you will need to see whether the instrument is working well and gives an accurate value with respect to whatever the uh, input is being provided for the particular instrument. So here we will basically search for or we will be looking forward for a zero input for a zero output value. So similarly when you provide uh, any particular input for that particular instrument it needs to give a equivalent value for that particular input. So we will now discuss about the procedure of conducting this particular experiment. First you are supposed to find out the least count of the instrument. Least count talks about or it tells about what is the least value a particular instrument can give you or gives an, as an output. Once the slip gauge is, uh, sorry, once the micrometer uh, uh, list count is being calculated, later next you are supposed to use a slip gauge to find out any error is being found in the particular instrument. So after finding out the least count, you take up a required slip gauge you are supposed to do a ringing phenomena or either it is called as either you will join the two slip gauges together. So joining is nothing but as it has been explained in theory, it is a ringing phenomena what we do with respect to two or three slip gauges. Once it is being drawn together, it is being kept between the two angles of the micrometer and lot of pressure should not be applied to the particular uh, slip gauges because as the pressure is being applied, it might uh, damage the slip gauges. Once the uh, slip gauge is being uh, attached or it is being placed in between the two angles, you are supposed to take up the reading from the micrometer. The first reading what you take up from the micrometer are main scale reading and as well as circular scale reading. So total reading from the micrometer can be found out by the formula that is MSR that is main scale reading plus least count into circular scale reading. This is how you find out the reading from the micrometer. So you find out the least count of an instrument by this particular formula that is pitch divided by number of rotations on the circular scale. So this is what you are supposed to find out from the uh, uh, micrometer reading or whatever the measure value. So now you are supposed to compare whether there is any error or there is any variation between the slip gauge value and as well as the measured value. That will be taken as an error here. You can calculate or you can note it down by the uh, tabular column that is serial number. actual dimensions
measure dimensions. dimensions is nothing but you take from the slip gauge reading. Measure dimension is nothing but the reading which is taken from the micrometer. That can be found out by the formula that is TR is equal to MSR plus LC that is least count into circular scale reading. So uh, error can be found out by taking a difference of actual value minus the measured value. So percentage of error can be found out by the formula that is nothing but actual value minus the measured value divided by actual value into this is how you are supposed to find out or this will help you to take up the reading when the experiments are conducted and this will help you to take up the actual dimensions that is nothing but the slip gauge, slip gauge readings, measured value or measured dimensions talks about whatever the reading you are taking from the micrometer, error if there is any difference between the actual dimensions and the measured dimensions and you are supposed to find out the percentage of that particular this will help you to see whether the instrument is giving you an accurate result or not. If there is any variation, your support that can be seen in the error column. After this, as I said in the end, you are even supposed to plot a graph for it. So, plotting the graph here on the x-axis, you are supposed to plot the actual value or actual actual dimensions whereas in the y axis you will be plotting the measured value always remember on the x axis we will always put the constant value on the y axis we will always consider the varying dimensions or varying value with respect to these two you can find out it or it can give you the exact uh, variation or if you can find any variation with respect to the measurements what we have taken from the micrometer. So usually if you have or if you don't have any error you will be getting either idle particular uh, idle graph as like this. So for an example why we are drawing this particular curve is this is the uh, uh, standard uh, calibration curve. So whatever you have measured by using the micrometer, the measurement of the slip gauge. So this might be 2.6 for an example I am taking the dimensions might be 2.6. To see whether the measured value is the same as the actual value, you draw this particular horizontal line towards the uh, 45 degree line and draw it or drop it down towards the actual value. So if you can see here it might be 2.5, it may not be the, the 2.6. So this is the variation what you get with respect to the actual value and the measured value. Hello everyone, we are going to conduct an experiment on calibration of micrometer. What is a micrometer or a screw caliper means? Here this type of instrument is works on the principle of screw on that. We have a main screw here and then that will be a thimble like that it is going to act that's why this is called as a screw caliper here we have a two type of scale one is called as a main scale this is our main scale and this is our pitch scale pitch scale is nothing but psg main scale is nothing but msg here first whenever an instrument is given it to you you have to find the range and the least count of the system how to find it first we are going to find least count of the system how to find the least count uh, we are going to take a micrometer here we have a they have been mentioned here the mention here in the main scale is 0 is the initial reading and 25 is the maximum reading it means the micrometer range is 0 to 25 mm how to find the least count least count is nothing but least possible measurements that can be measured using a micrometer here so first we have a formula for least count 
Each count is nothing but one main scale division that is divided by total number of subscale division or pitch scale division divided by that. So what is the one MSG of a micrometer here? Uh, here we have a micrometer having a minimum value of 0.5. How to read it? 0 0.5, 1 mm, 1.5, 2 mm, 2.5, 3 mm, 3.5, 4 mm, 4.5, 5 mm. Like that we have to read like a zigzag. You can see here in a system this is our 0 means bottom reading is 0.5, top reading is 1 mm, 1.5, 2 mm, 2.5, 3 mm, 3.5, 4 mm, 4.5 and 5. They mentioned from 0 to 5 here. Okay. First always we should read the bottom reading. If it is cross the bottom reading then we have to see the top reading. In the If it cross the top reading then that reading has to be considered for the main scale division. Now to calibrate any micrometer. Uh, we are going to use a workshop standard here that is M87 slip gauge box which is available on here. What is this M87? You can see this is our M87 box means number of pieces available in the system is 87. How to give into that? You can see here M87 means M87 slip gauge box is having 1.001 mm slip gauge box to 1.00 9 mm total number of pieces is 0 0.9 1.01 to 1.49 49 pieces 0.5 to 9.5 mm this is not 9.45 it is 9.5 0 0.5 to 9.5 is 0 0.5 to 9.5 is 19 pieces 10 to 100 is 10 pieces total number of pieces by adding this you will get 87 pieces means we have m87 so before going to conduct the experiment we should know the range of the slip gauge to build a slip gauge. What is this slip gauge or gauge blocks? So it is nothing but we have a standards that has been grinded in a two surfaces. If you measure the surface it will act accurately give the etched number given on here. It means if it shows 1.42 means if you measure the standard it will give you the 1.42 mm. Now building of slip gauge. So how to build a slip gauge? First calculation should be done. How to do that? If any reading is given, suppose example, uh, they have mentioned 2.95 mm if they given. You have to build for a 2.95 mm slip gauge means you always start from left to right like this. You have to start left to right. So what is the last reading here? 5 is the last reading. Next is 9, next is 2. Like this you have to start it. So we have to find what is the um, what is the minimum block we can take to build a reading. So how to take it say 2.95 means I have a 1.45 range here 1.01 to 1.49 I have. I took 1.45 next I took 0.5 to 9.5 we have a 1.5 mm here. So by taking only a two number of slip gears I can build 2.95. So like that you have to calculate for the different reading example you take a 4.77 12.11 you take you, uh, you can uh, note down 12.11 4.77 and uh, you can take 11.98 uh, and 8.91 calculate the slip gauge reading for this next how to take the reading before going to take the reading we have a formula total reading is equal to MSD main scale division reading plus pitch scale division reading multiplied by the leash count that is what the reading for the your your screw caliper here suppose 2.95 mm how to build the 2.95 here I already told you 2.95 mm I took a 1.45 and 1.5 so I have a 1.5 here this is my 1.5 and this is my 1.45 two numbers I took it uh, we have a building area this is our building area this is chamas cloth which is used to clean our slip gauges you should not use any cloths or anything so you should use only uh, wiping cloth so that it should not be scratched see this the polished surfaces only the measurable surfaces example if you say this is not 100 mm see this this is polished surface this is polished surface. This polished surface is 100 mm. 
So I took this. This works on the principle of ringing phenomena. What is this ringing phenomena means? Whenever two pieces are rubbed together, a collision occurs and a vacuum uh, gap has been created here. And by just turning on and built like this, just rub it, remove the air gap between that, and just turn it. You will get a building of this thing. So we have a reading of 2.95 here. How to measure this? So I will place it in a screw caliper like this. You have to use this is thimble, this is ratchet. Always we should use ratchet when it gives three uh, tick tick sounds. It means the pressure is uniform. Always we should not give more pressure. Now. Now you can take the um, main scale division. Uh, the main scale division it's cross the 2.5. Always we should read the bottom first, then the uh, top one. 0 0.5, 1 mm, 1.5, 2 mm. It's not cross the 2.5. It's below the 2.5. Sorry, it's uh, cross the 2.5, not reach the 3 mm. It means the MSD is 2.5. Now you take down what is the actual reading. Actual reading is 2.95 and measured reading is uh, micrometer reading is the measured reading. So MSD is 2.5 it's crossed. Now open a bracket. Now what is the this is our MSD. MSD is taken 2.5 cross not reach the 3 mm. Now we will take a PSD. It is 45. Each reading will give you the 0 0.01 mm. I already told you how to find the least count. So 1 MSD divided by total number of pitch scale division. 1 MSD is 0 0.5 here. Total number of uh, pitch scale division is 50 here. It means 0 0.5 divided by 50 is 0 0.01. It means in pitch scale division, each reading will give you the 0 0.01 mm. So it's crossed the 45. So 45th division is crossed. Which reading is coincided to your the main scale division center line here? So that reading has to be taken. It's reaching 46. It's reaching 46. Now, what is PSD? PSD is here. 46 is the PSD. 46 into 0 0.01 you have to take. Now, what is the total reading? 2.5 mm. 46 into 0 0.01 is 0 0.0, 0 0.46. So, 2.96 mm is the measured reading. Like that, take down the MSD for remaining thing. Eleven point nine eight. I told you, eleven point nine eight. Nine mm is the MSD, and. Sorry, 11.98 uh, uh, MSD is 11.5 crust and PSD is and PSD is crust 39. Okay, now similarly you can find the different value for the given readings first you have to build a slip gauge that uh, slip gauge has to be measured here. okay so like that you calculate for the remaining and plot the graph thank you